So this beautiful woman right here basically go break down the the very uh, a beautiful breakdown on how world domination is accomplished. And me and my homeboy was talking about it, and I was basically explaining it to him on some shit too. Like it's so simple, yo. It's just so simple. Like it's it's the way that everything works. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna say too much because I want her to tell y'all. I want her to tell y'all exactly how this world domination thing goes. But before we get too deep, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, join the Patreon. It's three dollars for the first hundred. I'll probably boost that up to two hundred, so it'd be three dollars for the first two hundred. Eight dollars for everybody else. We going to build big things, man. We trying to have our own banks, hospitals, schools. Law enforcement, we going big with it, man. So join that Patreon, man. This shit going up. Let's go. If I want to take control of the entire world, I'm going to do it with my friends. But I'm going to make my friends look like my enemies. I'm going to delegate responsibilities and evil tasks to each of them. You, over there, get them hooked on drugs. Pharmaceutical companies. You, over there, poison them with their food. The FDA. You, over there, buy up all the land and houses so they can't buy. So they're forever living in feudalism. BlackRock. Hey, you, poison their minds. At every chance, at every turn, in their music, in the things they watch, their TV, their movies, the media. I would distance myself and let's say scatter. Never be seen together. Never be seen in a photo together. The way that we are so naive in this culture, guys, this has to stop. Please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you to look at the reality that's in front of you. Now Kanye is actively trying to dismantle whatever situation he got himself into. He's revealing a lot of things behind the scenes. But you also have to ask, who does he work for and who's putting him up to saying these things? It's just another smoke and mirror. He's also revealing that he knew this the whole time and he's been helping them. Is anyone ever going to say that? I also mentioned in one of his interviews that he was like, I don't care if you have a video of me having sex with a goat. Come again. He's admitting that this type of stuff happens. And you guys need to look alive. It's a pleasure island. You know, like an island, and an Epstein Isle. You know what I mean? Your government, your senators, your congress people, your insider trading, away your children's future. You're over here arguing between each other. Is it the Dems or the Repubs? Is it the Evangelicals? Is it the Jews? It's your own naivete. That's what it is, babe. Is that you won't look at the larger picture of what's happening and just put all the pieces together. Yes, here we are. Isn't it amazing? Bill Gates, Elon, Putin, Prince Andrew, Justin Trudeau, Biden, Trump. They're all part of the set design. And you know what a really poorly run show needs is a lot of really good set design. These people are all minions and we're all sitting here believing like Elon Musk is the richest man on the planet. What? Impossible. That is a flat, obvious lie. I think everything that's in front of you is not there for a reason. Have you ever wondered why your very talented friends and family are not famous, but people that are not really that exciting are? It's because they're willing to make certain arrangements and agreements. They're willing to do some very strange things to get there. You guys believe the private jets are real? It's just a network of rich people making sure that they look the right way. This is why celebrity is crumbling. This app is actively helping crumble it because it's getting harder and harder to keep the set design from a 3D angle because now everybody's looking from a round perspective and we all need to step even further away and look at what it actually is. School shootings with details that make absolutely no sense that cannot be explained and never are explained. Of the handmaid's tale being released and then a few years later suddenly uh, abortion rights are being questioned? Wow, that seems odd to me. Did you see if I were an evil genius, which obviously I'm not, I would be prepping you all the time because I'm a narcissistic abuser and I know exactly how to get in your head. I know exactly how to trap you. You can run from me here, but you're gonna run into my friend over there. Yeah, that's how they do it. Everything you see around you is meant to influence you. The billboard, the commercial, the songs played incessantly that you don't even like but you know every word to. The messages within those songs. Every female rapper is like a sex worker now? Like what's going on? Nobody wears pants on stage anymore? That's not odd. Well, all the news corporations if you go up are owned by the same exact companies. Come on, when is the time? Just to stop feeling crazy by saying this stuff out loud. Just realizing that it's a fact. This is our reality. You can change it.